I wonder what the delay is. <laughs> Do we know? It's about 10 or 15 seconds. Oh, OK. Um, so I mean, oh, is it transferred from when we start to when that starts to yeah, go live? Yeah, there's a I mean, it starts right away, but the delay in time can be yeah. as well. Oh, we're live. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> we are live. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Hi, everybody. We're here at the Palo Alto Art Center Adult Studio Ceramics, uh, yeah, Ceramics Studio. And um, it is Thursday. We've got uh, Shin here um, with the Texture Surface Workshop associated uh, with the 2019 International Cultural Exchange Week. So thank you, Shin, for being here. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. um, we also have Matt Owen from Clay Planet, and he is co-sponsoring this event along with the Chinese Ceramic Society USA and Sonoma Community Center. So we're very glad that they're here. Now, all of this cannot happen without the generous support of the Palo Alto Art Center Foundation, who puts all of our programming together, and we're very happy that we can uh, offer this type of programming. So today, we wanted to go live uh, streaming with um, Shin, because he is testing out a new clay for us. It is called? Santa Cruz White. Santa Cruz White. By Clay Planet. <laughs> By Clay Planet and Clay Planet only. Yeah. Um, so Shin. Thank you. Um, not only is he going to demonstrate the, with the clay, he's going to show us how he's using all of his tools, uh, which are here, and we'll pan to that soon, but all the tools and how we use them, because I've got those tools, and I'm not quite sure how okay. to use them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you, and no, let's go. All right. So our uh, first demonstration will be uh, using the a uh, roller texture, okay. Uh, I have a stick and then uh, the, uh, all the uh, different texture that uh, you can uh, change it and then uh, roll it over, okay. Uh, that's our first demo. And then I'm gonna do the uh, sodium silicate, okay. So we'll brush the sodium silicate and dry the surface and expand it, okay. Then our third uh, uh, project is gonna be using my trimming tool that I uh, design it myself and produce myself and use the tool to do the treatment. And earlier we uh, did some bowls, so uh, hopefully they will be uh, dry in time for you guys to try it on, okay? Right, so let's do our first uh, throwing. I'm gonna throw up the hump first. So focus on just the top, but at the beginning, you might want to use uh, your finger to seal the clay so the water doesn't get into the underneath of uh, the clay so uh, you don't um, move it away, okay? So that's very first important thing is that make sure your clay stick. And then uh, you just focus on the very top. So throw of the hump is that you just focus on the very top. And even the bottom is not a, uh, quite center. Okay, so this is centered. And then you drill a hole in the center. And just raise up the wall. And for smaller object, I usually use in my left hand to grab the clay. Okay, this hand and a pinch and I lift it up. And the right hand is just supporting it, okay, supporting my thumb and supporting the wall. Compress the rim a bit. Okay. 
And since I'm going to roll the texture on the surface, so uh, you need to have some kind of support that I've been uh, featuring uh, in my uh, UD videos. So you want to make sure that the hole is closer, but not too big, too small, you won't be able to drop in, but uh, too wide, it's very hard for you to color in. So just close, maybe a quarter, less quarter of an inch, the gap, okay, so that's, this is, this hole is, is all right, so we are going to just make sure that this is good. And then uh, and then I want to show you how to uh, prepare your uh, cylinder, the cardboard cylinder. Okay. I already prepared this one, but I want to show you how to how to do that. So you want to find uh, some kind of a cylinder. It could be wider, okay? If you could throw something large, it could be wider. Uh, we can start with a smaller one, okay? This is from the badminton, uh, the shallow tube. Just cut it, okay? So this one, and then you need to have two pieces of a newspaper because when you drop in and then the piece is holding inside, somehow if you have one layer of newspaper, it's very hard for you to pull it out. So the trick is that if you have two newspapers, it's easier for you to lift, okay, to pull out. So this is how you roll it. This is gonna be the bottom, okay? So get the extra newspaper on this side, and then you roll it. And you wanna leave a little bit of a room, so, because you are going to grab this part, not grabbing the newspaper, okay? So a little bit of room so you will be able to pull out from there, okay? Um, the direction of the newspaper is very important too because the wheel is spinning, my wheel is spinning counterclockwise, so you don't want to, while you are, you are coloring, you don't want to clay to hit the newspaper off. So this is following that direction of the wheel. This wheel is spinning in this direction. So make sure that your newspaper is folding this direction. And then you just tuck this in, in it. okay? And then uh, if you have a slip, which I do, use a slip to uh, glue it on. Okay, that's the first layer. And then, again, you put the second layer of newspaper and wrap the same way, right? So I already have one down here, so to save some time. So this one already done with that. Now I'm gonna drop it in. Before we drop in, we might want to get some moisture on the bottom because you might have some wrinkle from the newspaper. So if you wet it, the newspaper will be a little bit softer. Okay, so wet it here, and then you just drop in all the way down to the bottom. Okay, and now you want to color in. Start to color from the bottom. If you start to color from the, the top, you're gonna trap the air inside. So try to push the air so that the air move out from the bottom. So slowly you push it up. Okay, so it's fitting very well. Now, you could get a, a rib, uh, you can use a either a wooden rib or metal rib, whatever rib, to remove all the throwing mark, and make the surface smooth. And also, you wanna remove the slip too. Okay, so this, you remove it. Right, so the, now the surface is nice and clean. And then, this is the roller. Um, they, they come with uh, many different, okay, different textures. So you could get to choose whatever the, ch the texture you like. Let me do this one here. So this is the reason why we put it in because when we roll, you want to have some kind of support inside. So this will be the support, okay, supporting. So you want your, your clay to be able to fit it nicely. 
Okay. And then when you roll, uh, sometimes the clay stick on here. So to prevent the clay from sticking on your texture, wet it, okay? Wet it in the water. And then you hold on to your uh, cardboard, and then you want to roll vertically, okay? Because it's hard to find where to uh, start and end. Mm. So if you do a horizontal way, that, that would be fine, but it's very hard to find where it comes next, okay? So I do vertically, so this. And then you don't want to roll all the way through. You keep the rim without compressing it. Maybe a half, a quarter inch to half inch without compressing. So once you roll, you stop, okay? You don't go all the way, otherwise the rim is gonna be uneven. It's very hard for you to get it back, okay? So roll it up, okay? And then roll it, and remember to add water to it. So once you roll about two thirds of the whole uh, circumference, about two thirds, you need to decide how many more you want to finish up. Okay, so uh, just divide it. Okay, maybe four more or three more or whatever, so that you you don't uh, overlap when you are rolling. So I will have uh, two, two more, three more. Right, so all the way around it. Now, see that? Two layer of newspaper. Okay, it's easier for you to pull out your cylinder. And then this piece of newspaper is easy to pull out. And then I just get to the inside of the newspaper and slowly it, rotate it. And pull out. Okay, so you got a texture rolled over the surface, right? Now you can start to stretch it. Okay, and since the uh, newspaper is absorbing water, so absorbing the slip, so it's a little bit dry on the inside. And when you're ready to stretch it, you might want to get some water to lubricate it. Okay, so get a sponge there and pull there and. Uh, Give it a little bit of water. Okay. And ready to expand it. And for this, I usually have my finger there to support on the bottom. And then slowly stretch it out. one more time and when you are stretching make sure that you want to do this slowly okay, you don't want to do uh, do it too uh, too quick slowly expand it So uh, you could use a finger, or if you have, uh, like I, I have here, the wooden uh, rib, you use a small rib to, uh, to go there and then uh, compress it. Or 
like here, there is a stretch and a stick. You could use that to stretch too. When you have something that is a little bit uh, taller, like uh, a mug, that the stretch and stick is very, uh, very good to use. And then, like I showed you earlier today, when you want to make the rim a little bit uh, smaller, thinner, just compress it using the chamois to compress the rim. So the whole piece, when the rim is thinner, the whole piece looks lighter. The feeling of it is that it's thinner and lighter. Can I have a question? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's no way you could uh, do it else. I guess already put the texture there. Yeah, yeah. doesn't this have a danger of collapsing? Uh, well, that's why the, when you start to stretch it, make sure that you have finger there to hold it so yeah. it's not going to uh, collapse from there. Yeah. Is it more stable because you were doing it on the hump than it would be if you were just doing it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, feel free to ask question, question, okay? Since you are here, that direct response is, is better for you, that if you have any question, just let me know and I will answer for you, okay? Uh, you can go back there and just lightly ch uh, check, see some of the spot that you might want to get it out a bit more to just stretch it out a bit. Okay, so that's the uh, T-ball with the roller texture. Um, like I told you uh, earlier that if you're gonna get the uh, cut off easier, get a wooden knife and just a little bit undercut. And then insert the uh, cotton stream while the wheel is spinning, let go and pull. Okay, you want to pull a level, okay? you don't pull up or down, pull a level. And uh, the, the other trick is that your base, when your base is smaller, your finger just fit right in there. And uh, it, it's very easy for you to just, just to uh, lift it up. Okay, easy. Oh. How much okay. thickness do you have on the bottom? How much thickness? Okay. Uh, how about let's cut it open, okay? <laughs> oh, no. No, that's fine, man. Yeah. <laughs> Since you're here to learn, okay? So let's, uh, let's just cut it. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's the uh, inside, how like, the inside look like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, if you have a taller foot, it's adjustable. If you want to make it shorter, you can cut it. But if you have a shorter foot, then there's no way you could fix it if you want to have a taller foot. So better have enough than not, not enough. enough, right? Yeah, so. So the bottom is mostly flat. The bottom is flat, yeah. yeah. After you use the, uh, the uh, string, you see that the bottom is right here. It's flat. Okay. So that's the uh, thickness that. Uh, could go with it. Um, that they, they, they come with a lot of uh, different texture that you could uh, choose from. So later on, you could uh, practice okay, if you want. Uh, I brought a whole box of a uh, different texture. You can put it on your, your, your piece. Right. Now, my next demonstration will be 
the uh, sodium silicate. Okay, sodium silicate. So uh, again, that I'm just showing you the smaller uh, T balls, but if you do the vases, it's the same method. You just apply the lung. Okay, throw a tall cylinder on that. Th your your cardboard is the just maybe quarter inch wider than than that, and then you drop the whole thing in, and then you color, and you roll the same thing. You apply the same thing. Okay, so. Because we only uh, have a one day workshop, uh, so you don't have a, a lot of time to uh, practice on. So we will do that the small, small project first. And again, I'm doing throw at the hum. So again, this clay is quite nice to throw. You see that I always keep my foot a bit smaller. And later on, after I brush the uh, sodium slick, I'm going to stretch it so. I will keep my wall a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker. So when you stretch, you will see the nice crackle lines. Okay, first, again, remove the slip. And if you want to uh, put some texture, now is a good time. You can do some texture. Okay, I find out this tool is very good. So I will put some texture over. Uh, my suggestion for you, when you put in texture, do more of the horizontal lines instead of vertical lines. Because when you are putting the sodium silicate, the vertical line usually, when it's stretched out, tend to split a lot. So it's easy to collapse. So put more of the horizontal lines, okay? So that's the, from my experience, okay? from my experience, so that, you will be uh, more successful when you put in the uh, horizontal lines. Okay, now the uh, uh, sodium silicate come with a liquid form, so it's also called water glass. So you're gonna brush it over the surface. And when you're brushing, and make sure that I usually don't uh, brush it all the way because uh, you're gonna stretch it, and when you stretch you, the spot that you have, uh, the sodium silicate, it's gonna be uh, like a crackle line there. And since this is gonna be used for maybe drink tea, so you don't want uh, that part too rough. So uh, keep about uh, half a quarter of an inch without brushing the sodium silicate, okay? So just uh, coat it a uh, quarter of an inch down below. Uh, well, it's it's uh, it's a special material that it dries very fast. Mm -hmm. It coats on the surface, and when you expand it, it's not like clay. The clay is expandable, but the sodium silicate is, is it start to crack. But you 
you pour with the clay, so you will get a nice texture. Yeah. And then you would leave it unglazed, or you glaze it? Uh, either way, you could uh, leave it unglazed, or some people put the uh, different color clay, like they can brush the slip over, oh. and then coat the, uh, coat the uh, solute silicon and expand it, so you show the contrast of different color clay. Okay, that's one way. Or we could do it uh, uh, later on when, after the, the piece bisque, you uh, brush the glaze and you wipe it. And when, when you wipe it, you won't be able to reach the crackle lines. Oh. So your glaze got left over inside. So it shows the contrast. That the higher point and the lower point, it shows the contrast. You see that there's a, one of my vase there, that, that smaller one, that's a sodium silicate. You want to bring it over so I can show them. The smaller one. Could you put slip first and then put sodium silicate? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, can yeah. put slip first. Yeah, put the slip first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can you can leave it there. Yeah, in the corner. Yeah, yeah. So that's the uh, sodium silicate. You, you see the texture, and the white crackle. White is the clay body, and the black is the glaze. Black and white. Yeah, you wipe it off. You wipe it off. After bisque, okay. yeah, after bisque. The sort of silicate is very easy to get there. Uh, yeah, uh, they sell it, uh, I think the clay plant that they have it. Yeah. 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 All right, and you don't need to brush too much over. And make sure if you have a little dribble, you might want to wipe it. Okay, wipe it off. Is the brush washable with the so the brush is washable, yeah, washable. Just wash it. Yeah. It's it's not a big big deal. Yeah. Not a big deal. Yeah. All right. So that's sodium silicate. Now we want to dry the surface. Okay. You know, bring out the, the texture. You have to uh, dry the surface. And uh Try it the outside, but leave the inside still wet, so it's expandable. Okay. Did I ask a question? Yeah. I mean, uh, sodium silicate, so all it does is kind of like encase certain parts, right, while others crack. So couldn't you use other things like sugar, like a sugar water solution? Or uh, well, the sodium silicate, if you, uh, you, s if you come, when it's dried, it's like uh, plastic, you know, dry plastic. Uh -huh. it's, it's hardened. Yeah, it's hard shell over. Uh, yeah. Like sugar water? Sugar water doesn't create the same hard shell over. It's yeah. Soluble, so, it's not so it won't. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can stretch everything. You can yeah. get a very tiny crack, but yeah. you, you will see the difference. Okay. You will see the difference okay. after I stretch I'm it. Just, I'm just trying to see if there's other materials. That sure, you could, uh, you could go and experiment it on, on all cool. different kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it would be fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, hair dryer works a little bit better than torch. People tend to use the torch if they dry too much. When you dry too much, uh, you, you will get a, a big uh, gap, big gap. So, yeah, hair dryer, so you dry slowly. So, when I'm using the torch, I will kind of go a little bit away from It's very too, this is a little bit too powerful. Okay. Usually, uh, I when I brush the sodium silicate, you see the shiny, and after you torch it, the shiny goes away, and you have to stop. Okay, you don't want to over dry it. And again, that uh, you want to be a uh, little bit uh, slippery on the inside, so you could use a little bit of water or a little slip, a little bit slip there. And again, that you won't be able to touch the outside. So uh, basically, it's just your hand making the uh, stretching. You're not touching the outside. 
I'm not touching the outside. So you can start, you start to uh, get a crackle. And once I push it out, you will get more crackle. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't have to, yeah. Like that yeah, one, like that one I, I, I doesn't have it. I, I didn't have it, yeah, that one I didn't have it. Um, there, you could experiment too. Uh, yeah. I actually did uh, uh, one experiment that uh, some spot, before I brush the sodium silicate, mm -hmm. I use a, a newspaper to kind of uh, mask in it. So on a brush, that spot doesn't have a newspaper. So you got a maybe smaller, tinier crackle. But that spot with the solid silica, you get larger. So you got uh, many different variations. Yeah. And you can do it on any type of clay? You could do it on any type of clay, yeah any type of clay. Now I'm uh, compressing the rim, so the rim is a little bit thinner. The piece, the whole piece looks a little bit lighter. Okay, and make a little indentation using my fingernail. You see that the uh, the waver line that I put it on, and you see that if you if you put it in closer, you see the lines. Yeah. Yep, we could use the, the camera to show that the surface. Right, yeah, and this clay looks uh, very nice on that texture too. Santa Cruz wine, mm -hmm. yeah, it's very good. Yep. Okay, so um, that completes our live streaming. <laughs> Is that bad? Okay. That completes our live streaming. Um, we will show you uh, a, a pan through some of the tools, and um, it's all available at Clay Planet. So thank you for Clay Planet for sponsoring this event and being here with us. Thank you, Shin, for oh, this you are um, welcome. Yep. demonstration yeah. and live streaming. And thanks to you guys. Epifan. Epifan. <laughs> yeah. We will add that information um, uh, later. But um, OK, thanks a lot. Say goodbye. All right, yeah. Say goodbye. Bye. Can you? Bye. All right. <laughs> OK, so uh, let's do the uh, uh, trimming demonstration. Then we, I do it all together, so oh, you guys have more time to uh, practice, okay? No, not yet. Right, so that clay we have. <laughs> yeah, 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 get that. Mm -hmm. We still need to uh, demo yeah. some uh, yeah, tools. Yeah, 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 the so tools. Yeah. So if you're uh, interested. Yeah. 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 All right.